Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. I've got something really special today, guys. Today we're going to be playing Alice Madness Returns in VR with Opex. There's a bit of a backstory behind the game I'm going to explain briefly. When the game first came out over 10 years ago, the game had a 3D mode by default. Back in the day, you had 3D monitors, you had the 3D glasses. Over time, Nvidia stopped the 3D support and you was unable to play this game in 3D. Also, the game got removed from Steam. Recently, I think a few days ago, the game is now officially back on Steam. It's on sale at the moment. 5.99 minus 60% off. This was one of my all time 3D games to play with the 3D glasses and the 3D monitor. Now it's 2022 and we're going to be able to play the game in glorious 3D in VR with Vorpex. The reason why this is so exciting is because it's back on Steam and the 3D is perfect. This game has been designed from the ground up to work in 3D. So there's no artifacts, there's no shimmering. You're going to have a perfect 3D image. Now Vorpex, I've had a mess around this morning and there's three different ways to play the game. I'm going to play the game the same way I used to play in my 3D glasses basically on a giant 3D screen. I have tried the game with Reshade and Super Depth 3D. You might have seen them some of my tutorial videos. Unfortunately, when I tried that this morning, there was no 3D. So we're going to have to wait for Reshade to make a proper profile for the game. But for now, it's working perfectly in Vorpex. Hopefully, a lot of you people who experienced this amazing game in 3D over 10 years ago you now have a VR headset. If not, what are you waiting for? Get a VR headset and you're going to be playing the game in 3D just like you used to do on your 3D monitor and with the 3D glasses 10 years ago. The first thing you need to do, you need to run the game at least once because you need the files and the folders for Vorpex to find and attach itself to. Now we're going to boot up Vorpex and we're going to find a profile for the game. Go to Vorpex configuration go to Cloud Profiles and type in here Alice and we're looking for Alice Madness Returns and as you can see we've got a default profile for the game here we have some user profiles as well but I'm going to use the default one for now it works I tried it this morning we're going to import the profile OK and then we're going to apply and that's it. Now we're going to boot up Steam VR. Run the game and it should boot up in Vorpex. Vorpex has attached itself to the game. You can see the logo. There's some instructions in the top left as well. I'm going to record some footage in my headset and we're going to check out the Vorpex settings. And we're going to check out the three different ways to play the game. Okay, so you can play the game with a, with a gamepad like the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller or if you want to, you can play with the motion controllers. So if you want to, you can play with the uh, motion controllers and I'm going to show you how to use the motion controllers with the game. Myself, I'm going to use the, the gamepad. I find this type of game a lot more playable with the gamepad. So this is the uh, main menu screen and I can see the 3D already. So we're just going to go through the intro screen and then I'm going to show the uh, Vorpex settings and the different ways to play the game. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm 
trapped in my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be all right. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Take okay, the eyeball. Oh, no, not that. Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. The 3D is amazing. And it's perfect. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Okay, guys, so we're inside the game. And as you can see, I can move the camera with my head. At the moment, this is running in immersive screen mode. Basically, immersive screen is a giant 3D screen that you can move around, you can move closer or further away from you. And this is the second method to play the game in Vorpex. I'm just going to have a quick wander around with the uh, with the gamepad. I want to unlock the uh, first person mode. So we need to wander around. We need to head downstairs, find the main door. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? I'm playing this game the same way I would play the game on a normal monitor with the, the game padlock. I can move the camera around with the thumbstick or I can use my head to move the camera around. I'm using my left thumbstick to move the character. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to set up your motion controllers. So this is the uh, starting house. If you hold down the right thumbstick, you'll get first person mode lock. So now I'm in first person mode, I can actually look around the world. I move the character. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. So we're going to enter into the street and then I'll show you the uh, settings. Here we go. This is outside. Another day, a different dream perhaps. Look at this guys. And to say this game is 10 years old, it still looks amazing. And it's also a really good game as well. Really trippy. It's a great term, third person adventure game. For those of you who know about Vorpex, normally if you hold down the the right thumbstick, you get edge peak mode. If I tap it, look, that zooms me right out of the game. If I tap it again, I zoom back in. So you have to make sure to get first person mode with the character, just hold it down. Hold the button down and you're in 
first person mode. I'm going to zoom back out again and I'm going to show the different Vorpex settings. Now this is cinema mode, this is the way I'm going to be playing the game and it's very similar to how I used to play the game on a 3D monitor. Basically I'm sat on a couch, look, I'm in a 3D house this house is all in 3D, it's like a real house. And in front of me is a giant 3D monitor screen. Absolutely huge it is. And this is the way I'm going to be playing the main game. Now I've also got full VR mode, which if I show you in a minute, look. If I now go into first person mode, this is full VR mode, look. I'm actually inside the game itself. I'm looking around the world as if I'm here for real and I can move my character forwards. Now this does feel a little bit zoomed in for me. So I'm going to change the FOV. Vorpex said you could try pressing the F8 key and that's not doing anything for me. So F8 is not changing the FOV for me. If I go back into the uh, Vorpex menu, hit the delete key, bring up the menu. If I go to more full VR settings, I'm going to change the pixel ratio to letterbox 2. That's giving me more FOV. Now, if you want to play the game in this mode, you're going to have to experiment with Vorpex. I'm going to bring the screen further away so I'll get more FOV. So if we go to image zoom, we need to make sure, make the image go all the way back as far as possible. I can just about see the top and bottom of the screen, so play around with the image zoom until you're happy with um, with, the, with your view, and then you click on OK and save. So now look, I'm actually inside the game like a proper VR game, it's all around me, behind me, to my left. You might need to change the settings for looking around as well, because normally when you look to your right, in the game it's looking right behind me look. So turn your sensitivity down in the settings if you want to and you can play the game like this. Now I like a lot more 3D as well. So if I go back into the Vorpex menu. Okay so the 3D strength is on 1.0 we're using Geometry 3D. Now because the 3D in this game is so perfect I find I can turn this all the way to 5. And that's going to give me the maximum 3D in the game. And now guys, the 3D is really popping out. The 3D is perfect now for me. Amazing 3D. And like I said, if you want to play the game like this, you're going to have to tweak the uh, sensitivity of moving your head look. Your head movements might be too quick. And that's something I'm not going to do in this video. That's something that you can experiment with. Go to the Vorpex forums and people will show you how to tweak the uh, settings. So now I'm going to go back to the mode I want to play the game. Which is cinema mode. Let me reset my view. I'm going to be playing the game in this mode. The 3D is perfect. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go away. And I can even bring the screen even closer so you can see my screen look in the room and I'm going to bring it a bit closer to give me a bit more immersion. So cinema mode we're going to find the distance, screen distance is there look. But I'm going to bring it really up nice and close and that's going to give me the impression that I'm more inside the game. So my screen distance is now on 1.0. I've tweaked the settings in Vorpex. I'm really happy with this. I'm pleased with the results. I'm going to save the profile. So the next time I boot up the game, it's going to remember all my settings. And uh, you guys can see now, look, when I'm playing the game, I can see the edge of the screen, but I can guarantee you, once you're playing the game, you get so immersed. You don't bother looking at the edges of the screen. 
So don't forget, in Vopex you've got different ways to play the game. By default, you're going to be in the most of screen mode. So the first time you boot up Vorpex, the 3D strength will be on 1.0. You're going to have um, the screen distance is going to be further away. And you're going to be playing in the most screen mode, which is this mode here, look. So just remember, the first time you boot up the game in Vorpex, you're going to be able to move the camera with your head. So, like I said, guys, have a play around. See which method you like most. I mean, this is quite... This is quite playable. Look. I've got some movement with the character and I can also look around me slightly using the headset. I'm now going to show you how to set up the motion controllers to work with the game. Let me go back to cinema mode. And again, I'm going to save my profile. If you make any changes and you're not happy with the changes, then always click on the default and that's going to revert Vorpex back to the original settings. Okay, you don't have a gamepad, but you've got motion controllers, and you want to play the game with the motion controllers. Go to the Vorpex settings, go to Oculus Tilt settings, and make sure you select gamepad in here, and then OK and save. So now the motion controllers emulate the gamepad. And you can see all the buttons on the controllers look. The only options missing with the motion controllers is the D-pad. If you hold down the, the left trigger, that changes look. So now the thumbstick is emulating a D-pad. So if I let go of the trigger now, it goes back to the thumbstick mode. So we can play the game with the motion controllers look. And it's working perfectly. Hold down the right trigger to go back into first person mode. Hold it down again to zoom back into third person mode. And the game is very playable like this. I'm going to record the gameplay and I'm going to be playing the game though with the uh, PlayStation 5 controller. I tend to enjoy platform games with a gamepad. Okay, so I'm going to show you my settings for the game now. Configuration, game and data, nothing really there. Video settings, I got my resolution on 1920 by 1080. For the purpose of this video, I've turned everything down to low. Now, something really interesting, guys, if you go here, look, it's got 3D stereo. Basically, this is a mode, if you had a, a 3D monitor, this should work. I've um, tried to look into getting this to work in 3D using virtual desktop I can't get it to work you might have to download some of the old 3D drivers to try to get this to work in 3D with virtual desktop if any of you clever people can get this to work in 3D mode with virtual desktop very similar to how I played Tomb Raider in 3D I'd be very grateful if you could leave me a comment let me know how you get it working that sort of thing now this 3D stereo mode might work with Helix Vision, which is uh, another 3D injector program on Steam. It's very similar to Vorpex, but the Helix Vision does use the old 3D drivers. So if you don't have Vorpex and you've got Helix Vision on Steam, which is quite cheap, you might be able to get this game working as well. Again, there's another option for you to play the game in 3D. And guys, if you ask anybody who played this game in 3D, this used to be one of the top 3D games you could play back in the day. It's a classic. Okay, let's continue and play the game. Oh, we need to follow the cat. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. That's not a bit lively to me. If you've never played this game, guys, you're in for a treat. That'll teach him. Be him good. So you can change between first person mode look and third person mode at the touch of a button. Just remember. 
that the same button used to access first person mode is also edge P mode in Vorpex. Now where has that cat gone? Okay, I've got a problem with press X. There's a guy in there being beaten. Like a real job, no change in nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphans. Excuse me, sir. Someone, you look like a journey, Jenny. Save the world. Jenny. Ten minutes at a time. The Flaming Stallion. There's a pub there, okay. Where's that pesky cat? Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. This place does look amazing. Ten years on guys and it still looks amazing, absolutely stunning, like I said, perfect 3D. This is a real treat. So cool. Whoa, oh, that was scary. Stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. Come and look at my pigeons. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. These the cutscenes are just in 2D. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took a stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't remember her name? What I heard. The 3D is so good in this game, I'm sure some modders could turn this into a proper 3D experience. I'm having a blast guys, this is bringing back really amazing memories. I played the full game in 3D back in the day. It looks just as good today as it did back then. Perfect 3D, like I said. Okay, we need to hold down the left trigger to look at the city. Follow the prompts. Nurse Whitless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. More mouth on its way. That's not good. Look, that's in my face. That's so cool. Right in my face, guys. He really came out of the screen. Here we go. Yeah, this is superb. And again, this is a perfect game to play in 3D because there's so much crazy things happen in this game. This is stunning.
This is now going on the top of my top experiences to play in Vorpex. I'm so glad they reintroduced the game to Steam. This is amazing! I'm in awe. Absolutely perfect. And you get to see the scale of the world. That looks like a real waterfall going over the edge. Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. He looks when amazing. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A I wish you guys could see the 3D. Land, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. And the game's on sale. It's a no-brainer, guys. Okay, I want to look over the edge. So now this is like a, a normal platforming game. Look at the scale here. I know I'm not looking up a skirt. Don't be so dirty-minded. I'm looking at the trees. That's a long drop. Can we talk to the cow? He's off. Flying cows. Definitely top tier Vorpex material here. Okay, grab the vision. This is one of those games I'm really going to enjoy completing in Vorpex. So magical. I say to jump. Look at that bubble. Awesome. Press A again while jumping to twirl. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this, guys. Like I said in the title of my video, this is something special. Look at that. This is the type of world you can live in. Okay, so that's a double jump. A twirl. I don't think you can go into first person mode during the uh, platforming scenes. I think first person mode only activates when you're roaming around the streets. Again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. I do remember this game gives you some amazing perspectives when you shrink into the world. Drink me. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God, 
I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Oh. So close. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Right. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. If you're playing this game for the first time in 3D with Vorpex, some people might find the full VR mode and the immersive screen mode a bit nauseating with the camera movements. Playing the game like this on a 3D monitor in cinema mode, there's none of that guys. This is just like playing the game on a normal monitor, pancake mode. Okay, we're going to shrink. Oh, that's so cool when the, when the world changes perspective. Up. She's barely there. Vixen in her hidey hole. Nice. Hiccups. Okay, we came this way. Okay, we need to shrink down here. Okay, giant snail. Grab the teeth. So the teeth are very similar to um, currency. Okay, we need to drop down here. I had a few uh, performance issues there, so as you can see the game, even after 10 years, can still be quite demanding. Okay, left trigger. Some bones of a dead animal. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. We have a weapon. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. If there's any slowdown in the video, I do apologise.
gross and evil in a single monstrosity. Combat feels amazing as well. So we can jump and dodge in the air. Look at the leaves. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. I just love all the leaves dropping in front of my face. Press A2, float. Okay, nice. So now we can glide down, look. Collect a bottle. Alice, you may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Pig snouts. fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish. A girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Okay, this is a new weapon. Okay, there we go. That's so cool. Everything's in 3D, the smoke. The particles. Any more? This is so good. Okay, is there a nest somewhere? There we go. Destroy the nest. the way
I need to wait for my gun to recharge as well. Shoot baby face. Okay, we need to shoot the snout. Pop goes the pig. Fall down. Okay, let's go and kill the snout. Made it. Finish your suit, girls. Bovine juveniles gave their all for it. So we have a cow in a snow globe. Okay, can we grab this? We can. Slugs.
Oh, long way down. That's not good. So we're not going down there. That's a fact. She's not messing around. Okay, so we can upgrade. We can upgrade our weapon lock. Vorpex blade. Okay, we can now upgrade our weapons. Had to always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Looking glass railways. And the sky so angry. Very easy to get lost in the amazing world. There's no going back. It's all a matter of learning how to dodge and roll. Oh, 
So he's got a shield. Look at this world. And there are different weapons in the game as well. Okay, the game's saved. We're going this way. Let me have a little explore. What's this? Nice. Okay, we shrink down lock. There's like a hidden doorway here. Nice. Golden collectible. Wow. You know, poor Mr. Crook died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. That's an incredible sight. Shall we blow the horn? Appearances, as you know better than most, can really, really cool view outside the uh, cable car. Much has changed since your last visit. Doctor Bumby says change is constructive; that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Please, oh crap! Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken.
lace up around your neck. Just outside hands, it was. Fortunate your undergarments had been laundered. Okay guys, I'm going to have a quick look at this level and then we're going to end the video. We need to jump on the steam vents. Combat feels so good. She's changed her dress look. Very similar to games like Kronos. If you play Kronos, you'll love this game. Look at this. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Nice. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.